sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Peaks Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my head up on the screen. As I look around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's face. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit. What kind of rules are these? Well, what the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of these rules. Holy piece of shit. However... What if he got punished? Like, what we saw before. I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. I... Ever since I was a... Oh, I left. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it. Even if it kills him. And... Uh... So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what. Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me. But you are saying you will follow the, the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? We read through the, uh... The list of regulations, and then Mondo is like, fuck this life, I'm gonna ollie outie, I have promises to keep. And then the Teto Curl chick was like, so you're promising to follow regulations? And he said, huh, oh well, yeah, I guess you're right. Regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? <clears throat> Anyone who kills a student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Rules, yay! No. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they are discovered? I was wondering that wondering about that myself. <laughs> It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. Duh! The guy's such a dick. But, but why? Why do... Why do we ha have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly. I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Toothpaste here! <laughs> well, for now, let's just... Let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True! We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight! Okay, then let's start looking around. These people have like such epic poses, I can't. It's like, rah, rah, rah. Hm. I'll be going alone. Tch. It's making that tch. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. 
Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst to make it that much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second. Oh, oh, wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Ew! He's the type of guy that pushes his glasses up like this. Am I wrong? Like in the freaking hello. Uh, um. Oh, what? <laughs> so I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Layton. What? Well, the fuck is that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. We're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop it, we shouldn't fight. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> what? The fuck you just say? You some kind of goody goody little bitch? You wanna oh blow God, down? There's so many bad words. <clears throat> Who do you think you are talking to me like that? Who? Oh, you think you're my fucking dad or something? No, no, I wasn't. You son of a bitch! Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's about to go Super Saiyan. Dude, if he goes Super Saiyan. His hair is gonna like pop in popcorn and just like fly everywhere, and that's gonna be the the glowiness all around him is just popcorn. Oh, I wonder if my sister would draw something like that for me. <laughs> Wham! in a heap. Oh my god! <laughs> it was like something straight out of a comic book. Yas! I didn't even see the punch coming. It just it was just something right there in my face. I don't even know how it happened, bro. It was just all sudden it's right there. Ah! <laughs> One second I was standing there and then next I was like soaring through the air. It was like fucking magic or something. Now that I think about it, Maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. That sounds like yeah, any person ever, I guess. I don't know. Where's the fan kit fit guy to draw that? Yes! <laughs> I would tell him to do it if I could. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. My sister is actually a really good artist, you guys. If you have a chance to check her out, you should. <clears throat> so, I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But, Super Popcorn Air Yes! Okay. I'm going to text her. Pause one moment. Hey have an idea for a commission I want you to draw the ultimate biker gang dude dang I'm wrong but but going super saiyan come on causing his corn hair to pop like popcorn and fly everywhere <laughs> oh, I'm such a fucking retard yes okay all right I just lost track hit me up the link and I'll follow her yeah I can do that let me see Take me one second. Tum blah blur. Oh, 
Ah, oh, who signed me out? The fuck. Okay. Fucking nerd. Um, actually, I think there's like a specific page for her art. What the fuck is my thing? Mm, art. Okay. <clears throat> well, time to make it all. I think you can go on there. You don't have to like make one. But this one, the se the second one, is specifically her art page. I hate her. She's so freaking awesome. She sickens me. Why do you do this to me? Totally getting distracted. I'm sorry. I need to break from the stress. I love my sister. She is my life. Okay. Anyway. Back. Back to this shit. Um. <clears throat> oh damn! What did I do? Oh, I just fucked something up. Oh no. Okay. All right. All right. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Oh, that's what I did. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, goodness, okay. By the way, I have the the song request thing up and running. Oh. Oh, stop. It's not what I want. I have that thing up. If you want to do that, it's a thing. It's a thing that I have. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press F2 key to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this review. Okay. I got one though, where is it? Okay. And then tab, I can see the shit that I can interact with. 